Hello, and welcome back to Long Drive, and this time, I am on the brand new beta version. I'm on the main menu to show you that we now have a multiplayer button, and the settings on here has some things. So we're going to start off with the default one, because they have changed the terrain generation. So as soon as I step outside, you can see that the terrain is a bit more bumpy. Basements don't work, so uh, we're going to have to try and get through this slightly cheatly. Uh, there we go. Because I want to have a look in here, because I need this diesel, because we have a diesel vehicle. So we can just bring this up through here, but I need to put the diesel in the thing. So yes, the basements don't currently work. You can also see if you look outside that there's no cactuses and no telephone wires or any of that stuff. We can still drive down the road and there's some very interesting things that I can show you. As you can see we have some quite significant hills and the terrain does flip through the road a bit, like over here. Let's make driving these roads quite difficult because you're constantly bouncing around. There's just a lot more verticality going on than there used to be. Not sure whether this is a good thing or a bad thing. I suppose it's really a matter of opinion. And I'm sure they will fine-tune things. Because currently, it is quite awkward to drive. There also seems to be a lot less buildings. They are quite rare now. From my little testing, there were not many buildings. I may have to use some other methods to find them. Yes, this road here comes to the junction. There is now junctions in this game. I don't know which way to go. This does mean there is no longer one end goal, as in the end of the road. There just isn't really that, because you have so many different roads. Whether there even is an end of the road, I don't know, and I have not put the time in to find out in this one beta version of the game. They have also added a new car. We now have a Lamborghini. It has its own engine, which is this big V8. It has its own radiator, which is identical to the Fury one, except that it takes... Where is it? Let me... I can't, I can't find it. It takes like 17 litres of water. There you go. 17 litres of water and this takes 18 litres of oil. So it looks the same. That may only be a placeholder. It also has these fancy doors, and the glass in the mirror moves, but not the wing mirror itself. It also has its own unique wheels, with some huge tyres, which you can actually put on anything, which is pretty funny. I can take these and uh, just put this on here, and this looks stupid, but it's and I can't even pick it up. But uh, you can put it on, and you can do the reverse and put these on here, but I don't think this would work very well. Yes, the fuel tank also currently does not have any kind of visual indicator, it's just here. The most important thing is it has pop-up headlights, which is very cool. And so we can drive this, but the problem with this is that it's very fast and very low to the ground, and the terrain is far bumpier than it's ever been. So it really does not work in this, in this update. Like, I mean, it doesn't really fit in the game anyway, to be honest. But uh, it fits in this update particularly badly, because the terrain is so bumpy, it just continually has an accident. Like, it just wants to spin the entire time, because it seems to be surprisingly front-heavy for a rear-engine, well, mid-engine car. Obviously I don't have any of the mods that would tell me how much power we've got, so I don't actually know the stats of this thing, and I'm not familiar enough with the game files to go and look for them. But it feels fast. Now, I would like to show you the other modes, so I am actually going to stop here and uh, demonstrate the lack of buildings. So if I go into magic flight mode, I can fly up here, and, and obviously it's not loading very far because that's just how the game works, but uh, you can see that there are roads and there are these crossroads and junctions everywhere, and if I just follow this road along, the game gets a bit laggy. But it goes over into this desert, and here we have the first building I've seen. And I've been driving for a little while. Oh, there is actually another one pretty close over here. But then we 
go back off into the desert and it's, there's just no more buildings. This does mean it's a bit more difficult than it used to be. And if you choose the wrong path, you may end up really not finding a building. And then there is this house, and this is the small house that didn't use to spawn near roads, but I guess it does now. But you can see off in the distance that there is some hills around, but where we are here looks pretty flat, except that it actually is not flat. Like, look how bumpy this is. I, I hope they uh, tone down the noise a bit, because this is just awful to drive on. You can also see the biome map, which is another noise map. You've got these darker patches and lighter areas, and then the sand and the grass. And obviously, there is no actual grass in this version, but we do have the green grassland and the yellow sandy bits and some kind of dark splotches. If we go back to the main menu, we can go in here and we can go to test. And what is test? This is test. We have a generic house and a generic building and some slope tests, I guess. There is also a pink cat that you cannot do anything with, but uh, there is a pink cat. We have a village, and I haven't been playing this game for that long, so I'm not sure if these are things that have previously been in the game and have just been sort of re-added, or these are things that have been in for a while, but I haven't seen them before. I should also mention, yes, there is a multiplayer button. This test version does have multiplayer, and apparently it's a lot more stable than it was before, but I haven't tried it. This is the village. It's a village. There's some houses and some roads, and I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same as it was when I last visited it, so I don't think it's procedurally generated. Then we have FPS Dungeon, which is um, this. We get a gun. That's not what I wanted. We can grab this gun, and we can just grab some ammo, and just, oh, just load the gun. Not that there's anything in here. You just walk into this maze. I guess. It's never very big. There's not actually much going there's not actually much going on here. I've never seen anything interesting in here. This is literally where we started. It just looped back around to here. There's always a variety of different corridors and things, but nothing in here yet. And then mirror room is not very exciting. We just get two mirrors in a big room. Wow, I look stupid. But I can do this. Now you get to really appreciate the stupid animations of this game. Like, what is this nonsense? Obviously the main thing of this version is the fact that the terrain generation is different. I also feel like I should mention, you can now go left from the start. So, we may be in the middle of the map. Maybe. I have, I've tried following this road. It doesn't just end like it used to. So, who knows. Now, obviously I have no idea what the devs grand plans with this test are. It may be that they just want to test out a new generation system and some multiplayer fixes. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of this new generation. I think it's a bit too bumpy, and the junctions on the roads seems like it could be interesting, but at the same time it could end up unknowingly driving in circles and things like that, And whereas before you just had one road, and if the poles are on the right you knew you were going the right way, now you can end up getting completely lost and stranded because you've accidentally got turned around and gone the wrong way and there just aren't any buildings anywhere near you, which could be a bit of an issue. And obviously, the just general lack of buildings is a bit of a problem in itself because if I were to follow the road from here, we would go over here and then I would just follow it straight through and we still haven't found a building. I can keep going. I'm going to keep going until I find a building if I just follow the road ahead. And on the 0.5 litres of fuel that you start with, even if you put in the extra 2 litres of petrol, would, would you make it this far? Well, I guess it depends what car you've got and how you drive. But this is quite a long way to find the nearest building.
Ah, I finally found something. It's a tiny little house. Does this house even have fuel in it? It has 0.9 litres. Is that... Would, would you even be able to get here just for that? I don't know. I didn't test it. But it's a really long way. And with the roads being as bumpy as they are, it's a lot harder to travel and all distance is effectively greater because you've got to go up and down so much and you've got to account for the fact you're going to spin out 20 times because you kept going over crests and the back end got light and you crashed. I have, in my little bits of driving, found that you do tend to have quite a lot of accidents over these bumps because the car is a bit too front heavy, comes, it's like air time off the jump, hits the nose on the ground and just starts flipping and tumbling down the road. So you have to be very careful over the, over the bumps, which obviously slows you down and reduces your fuel efficiency even further. So I think that perhaps the buildings are a little too spread out and the junctions could be a little bit unnecessarily confusing. According to the patch notes, there are a couple of other minor things they've changed, but the big things are this terrain generation and multiplayer fixes. Obviously I can't test the multiplayer fixes right now, but the other thing they've done is made it so that you can make custom maps. You can upload, well not upload, but you can put a, a file into your game and it can use that as the map. Also, lights are now a thing. I can remove the lights from this for whatever reason. I may want to do that. And apparently you can also remove these ones, but this one specifically doesn't seem to work. Anyway, that is the new beta update for the long drive. Hopefully we get some more updates coming soon. But that is going to be for this video, so thanks for watching. Don't get distracted. Go subscribe now, and until next time, goodbye.